Terry here. Energy focus for the week. What's going on with you and your energy? These are the last couple of days of January. Moving right into February this week. Can you believe it? Already a month into the year. So February 3rd, which is Saturday, marks the very middle of winter. Yes, right between that winter solstice and the spring equinox. Yay! So as we move through this week, we begin to really feel the depth of winter. We're deep. We're in there. We're working with our dreams and our visions. We're listening to the messages of our ancestors. So important to receive these messages. The thing is, I know most of us want to keep carrying on traditions, 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 but so much has shifted from where our ancestors were and where we are now. We honor them, but we don't have the same struggles. We don't want to carry on same with the, some of the same hardships. We want to be able to move forward, to stand strong in our energy. And that's where we are right now. We're in Aquarius. Aquarius is break free. Notice what the collective is telling you and then find the ways to really think outside the box. Very important. All the planets are direct, which means we are starting to find some of that momentum. The Chinese New Year opens up on the 10th. So this is the last week to clean up, get rid of the clutter, clean out your space and really prepare for this Lunar New Year, Chinese New Year energy. Year of the Dragon. I'll talk more about that next week, but Year of the Dragon is mystical and it's magical. There will be a lot of ups and downs this year. There is going to be, we know that. So finding the ability to ground your energy, to know where you are, to receive the messages and trust them is really, really key. So this week, as we move through, we had that big old full moon last week. So we're releasing now, we're in the release phase, letting go again, clear out the clutter, let go, clean up your space so that you can understand these messages and how you can bring this energy forward with you as spring opens up. It's not that far away. So noticing where your energy is, noticing the energy coming forward for you. There's a lot of Saturn in the air, a lot of discipline coming forward. So it is important to really notice where can you cut out that old energy so that you can be strong in who you are. I always like to say February is self-care, self-love month. Really starting to tune in how you can clean up your body, clean up your mind, clean up your exercise, clean up your diet, all by taking time for you. That really is what self-love is all about. We want to start to prepare ourselves it's always a hard transition from winter to spring. So right now in the depth of winter, we really pull energy in. We still slow down. I know the tendency is to want to move fast, get right to spring. But these last few weeks are so important to nurture through those messages, through your dream time, what you do want to plant as spring opens up. So what are those messages coming in for you? Let's take a moment to pause and center Set an intention for where you are, and then we'll look to some cards for guidance as well. So wherever you are, if you can, take a moment, close your eyes, taking a nice deep inhale, breathing up the body, and exhale all the way down, lighting a little sage, calling in the element of fire, noticing the air to clean the space, water to release the emotions, let go, and earth to ground and center. Taking another deep inhale, breathing up the body. And as you exhale, just call all your energy into you, call in your spirit. Taking another deep breath, breathing up the body. Exhale, dropping right into your heart. Right here in the very center, feel that connection, your spirit and the greater spirit. Know that you are loved, guided, protected, feeling all this energy coming in around you as you go to start this week, calling in the masters, the teachers, the archangels, the crystal beings, calling in your higher self. Feel the alignment coming in for you so you can receive the messages of your soul. Taking a moment and noticing where you are in this great wheel of life. Are you dreaming? 
Are you having those visions come in? Are you receiving the messages? Taking a moment and setting an intention, one of self-love, self-nurturing for you, your path, your work. Taking another deep inhale and exhale. And just let it radiate out all around you as you set this intention, how you want to feel, noticing the emotions, see it, hear it, feel it. Know these intentions for you. Taking one more deep inhale and exhale, breathing all the way down, grounding, centering, opening the heart, focusing that third eye. And as you're ready, blinking the eyes back open, coming back. So as I go to pull some cards for this week, let's see what comes forward. The seven of water. All right, so this is about some emotional energy. Seven, though, is our spiritual energy. Go deep. There's a lot going on. Maybe you're feeling a lot of the emotions. Maybe you haven't let go of all that full moon energy. But it is a time. Look how she is. She's bringing her energy in. And then over here, light is shining on something. It's like allowing yourself to really let go of the excess emotions. Focus on what you need. No emotion is ever final. Bring some light. Bring some light into your heart. Open up so that you can go deeper for these last few weeks of winter. Very important. Know your emotions. No emotion is ever final. They can move. Then we have the eight of water. I always love this card when it comes up because it's about letting go, especially those old emotions. Sometimes this card will come up when you have the question, should I break up? Should I stay or should I go? This is about moving forward. So let those old emotions, as you focus in, let the old emotions go. They're just holding you back. I know it's easy to hold on to old emotions, really get your pound of flesh in there, but no, that's not what it's about embody those emotions breathe into it and then step over there's so much more abundance coming in when you free yourself of all that old energy just like clutter just like old papers old energy it just clogs up our system time to step forward on your path the messages keep coming in because when you do i love it here's the sun the sun is going to shine on your back door it really is always shining so as we let go we notice this new path this is a success card in the tarot the major arcana of the sun is a success card showing you really confirmation as you let go as you refocus on what those old emotions are so that you can be embodied in them you will find success along your path. And then we have an earth card, grounding. Six of earth, it's really a harmonious card. It's about community. It's about sharing what you know, opening up, connecting with all those around you. We don't have to isolate anymore. Yay, this is about coming out into the world, opening up your path and sharing what you know with others. Harmony. So as you go through this week, Notice the emotions. It's important. Don't bypass them. Don't skip over them. Bring them in. Breathe through them so that you can let go of the old emotions. Eight is infinite potential. Step over. Success is coming. The sun is shining for you. Find harmony. Ground with your energy. Be with your community. No more isolation. Get out. Share your light, your love. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Notice how these cards resonate with you. As we go to move into February, I invite you to my first annual virtual retreat. The end of February, come join us. Get yourself prepared for spring. Have a great day. Have a great week. To your spirit. Namaste. Namaste.